Hello, and welcome to the Erie County District Attorney's Office weekly YouTube video. Uh, I am Erie County District Attorney, uh, and uh, this week I want to talk about uh, something that's very important to all the residents of the state of New York, uh, and obviously those here uh, in Erie County and Buffalo as well. Uh, I had the honor uh, as the president of the New York State District Attorney's Association uh, to uh, attend the Governor's State of the State address uh, recently. And you know, at that address, uh, the governor laid out some pretty powerful plans uh, to help uh, public safety here in New York State. Uh, a couple of things that I think are important to first lay out is that <clears throat> the governor in her speech actually started out with public safety. She immediately focused on the importance of making sure the residents of the state of New York uh, are safe, which quite frankly is the most important thing uh, that government can do. Uh, she spent, quite frankly, the, the majority uh, of, of the first part uh, of her speech uh, talking about public safety, talking about initiatives, uh, like I said, that are important to uh, everyone here in the state of New York. Uh, and obviously, uh, my concern uh, as the president uh, of the District Attorney Association of the state of New York uh, and the Erie County uh, District Attorney uh, is to ensure that everyone in New York uh, and here in Erie County uh, especially here in Erie County, uh, are safe uh, and can uh, live, uh, work, and play uh, in a safe neighborhood and in a safe community. Uh, that is my number one goal uh, each and every day uh, when I wake up and come in this office uh, and serve uh, as the District Attorney uh, of Erie County, New York. Uh, specifically, the governor mentioned uh, four areas uh, that uh, she wants to highlight here this year. Uh, in the upcoming uh, budget talks uh, that will conclude uh, with the budget uh, on April 3rd, uh, sorry, April 1st uh, of 2024. Uh, first, she talked about retail theft. Uh, as I think everyone knows, because uh, uh, it's been widely reported in the media, uh, we have seen a significant uptick in retail theft, uh, not only here in Erie County in New York State, but all across the country. Uh, brazen, uh, uh, organized gangs of, of individuals uh, are walking in the retail stores across this country, across our communities, uh, and stealing merchandise. Uh, this is a breakdown in the social order, uh, and this is a breakdown in the economic order uh, that we should all be concerned about here uh, in this country. So the governor is proposing uh, significant increases in funding uh, to fight retail theft. That includes a special unit in the state police. That includes more money for our crime analysis centers. Uh, that includes more money for district attorneys uh, to establish units and have dedicated prosecutors uh, to fight retail theft. So again, uh, I applaud the governor for recognizing that and for putting dollars uh, into that program that we desperately need. In addition, uh, along with retail theft here in Erie County and in Monroe County in Rochester, we have seen a significant increase in car thefts. Uh, the stealing of cars, uh, especially Kias and Hondas, uh, by gangs of young men um, who call themselves here in Buffalo, the Kia boys, uh, are, are stealing cars at an alarming rate. Uh, the numbers are up in the thousands and hundreds uh, uh, or, or percentage-wise over what they were last year and in previous years. Along with retail theft, the governor wants to crack down on car theft as well, giving us, again, resources for that. The governor talked about domestic violence, helping prosecutors and law enforcement and our partners in the nonprofit world, the organizations out there that help victims of domestic violence, uh, giving money to them uh, to help those victims, again, desperately needed. Uh, and finally, she talked about mental health. Uh, mental health courts are an important component, especially in lower level nonviolent crimes where we can help people not put them in jail, not get them involved in the criminal justice system, uh, not prosecute them and persecute them, but to help them, which we never persecute, but we do prosecute, obviously. But we're here, though, to give those individuals the help that they need. And so mental health courts are an important component to helping out 
people who need mental health services. So again, and finally, uh, I want to thank the governor. I want to thank her for her leadership. I want to thank her for recognizing the issues that matter to district attorneys, to law enforcement, and to the residents here in the state of New York. She's recognized that and she's put her money where her mouth is uh, and giving us now resources that we need. So again, a big thank you uh, and a thank you to all of you uh, who are watching this uh, and helping me do my job each and every day. Thank you.